hello guys i hope all of you will be fine so this is question 2.61 and the statement of it is in a high school graduating class of 100 students 54 students studied mathematics okay 69 studied history and 35 studied both mathematics and history okay so if one of these students selected at random find the probability that okay so after it we have some options so before it let me write the given data so the given data we have here is that is a given data so in a given data let me represent the total number of students as s p and these are 100 okay similarly students who studied mathematics let me represent them with s m and these are 54 okay similarly uh, students who studied history are s of edge and these are 69 in number okay and 35 students both uh, studied both mathematics and history so uh, i have to write studied both mathematics and in order to represent and i am going to write here this uh, intersection symbol and with it i am going to write this h as well okay because they have studied both maths and uh, history as well so these are 35 in number okay uh, so after what do i have to do i have to find the student took mathematics or history any one of them okay so in order to do so i'm going to write the solution of it here and the solution of part a is i have to find the probability that the student took mathematics or history so uh, either i have to write s m or s h so as i have mentioned in my previous videos that wherever this or comes i have to use the union so therefore it will be union uh, which will be here so i have to find the probability of the student who have taken either mathematics or history and i have also known that in order to find it what will be the formula the formula for it will be probability of sm plus the probability of sh minus the probability of sm and sh okay so this is the formula which i have to find out i have the numbers which are mentioned here but i don't know the probabilities which i have to find out so therefore in order to find the probability of sm what do i have to do i have to write the number of students who have taken mathematics divided by the total number of students so both are present here so therefore it would be 54 divided by 100 okay similarly the probability of s of edge and it would be what the number of students who have taken the history divided by the total number of students and similarly for both of them i have to write the probability of the students who have taken mathematics and history so it would be the number of students who have taken these two subjects divided by the total number of students so this is basically the calculate data let me put it here and what i will get here it will be what it will be probability of sm that is 54 divided by 100 okay similarly probability of sh that is 69 divided by 100 and now minus p s m and s h that is basically 35 divided by 100 okay so taking their lcm and then finding the summations what i will get here i will get it so after it what i will get it will be 88 divided by 100 so that is what that is the solution of part a okay so we have found out the solution of part a similarly for part b here what do i have to do we have to find the probability that the student did not take either of these subjects okay they have neither take the mathematics nor this history so in order to find the solution of it i have to find the probability that he has neither taken this mathematics and nor history so it will be what it will be one minus probability of taking 
either mathematics or history or both of them okay so this is what this is a condition which corresponds with either any of the options or both of them that is basically the union and n basically satisfies the conditions where both of the given conditions are basically true okay so now we have already found out the value of this one here so let me put it here that would be 1 minus 88 divided by 100 so finding it what i will get i will get here 100 and 100 minus 88 so it will be 12 divided by okay so that is what that is basically the solution of part b which i have found out here okay so that is what we had to find out now in order to find the solution of part c we have to find the probability that the student took history but not mathematics okay this is basically a very interesting phenomena so for it let me remove the previous questions here so now uh, we have to find the probability that the student took history but not mathematics so in order to do so let me use a diagram which is called the venn diagram so in order to represent history let me use the green color and in order to represent the mathematics let me use this color okay so for mathematics let me have this diagram this is for what this is for mathematics and for history let me have this diagram this is for history and uh, the area which is in between them this is what this is mathematics and history okay while this area is what this is the area where student has taken mathematics but not history okay and this is the area where student has not taken mathematics but history Okay, so this is what we have a area now what do i have to find out i have to find out the probability that the student has taken the history but not mathematics so therefore the area we have to find out here is basically this one okay so we have to find the probability of this area and that would be what that would be the total area of the history minus the area which is here in this blue so therefore writing it here what i will get so the probability of not mathematics and history that would be what that would be the probability of history minus the probability of math and history okay so i hope you have understood the point that from this over all area i have to remove this one which is common between these two areas so now putting the values here probability of history is how much so the probability of history is 69 divided by 100 and uh, m and h is 35 divided by 100 okay so let me calculate it and it would be 169 minus 35 so that would be 34 divided by 100 or you can simplify it further as well okay so that is basically the solution of part c and we have seen the uh, venn diagram for it this is what this is basically the venn diagram and with the help of which we have represented or solved our question here so that's it for today and i will see you with some more interesting stuff in our upcoming video see you soon